I've never reviewed a phone made by Hafuri, but their UMAX model costs just below $90 US and it has 6 inch HD display, Android 7.0 out of the box and decent specs for the price. Is this phone any good? My name is Linus, stay tuned. The phone ships with all the usual stuff and some extras include a soft TPU case. The design of this phone does not really impress as the UMAX is made entirely of plastic but the build quality is good. The plastic buttons are tactile and I don't have many complaints here. The phone is huge due to its 6 inch 720p display which is surprisingly good given its low resolution but as usual the sunlight legibility could be slightly better. We have a 5 megapixels front firing camera and LED notification light. Unfortunately, the capacitive buttons are not backlit. As far as the main camera, there is a 13 megapixel shooter which is coupled with the LED flash. The loudspeaker is surprisingly good considering that this is a sub $80 phone. The Hefri UMAX does not have the best specs out there but it still has enough power to handle most of the stuff. We have a quad-core MTK6580 chip which is clocked at 1.3GHz, 2GB of RAM and 16GB of expandable storage. The phone can handle 3D games like Asphalt 8 on medium graphics with just a few skip frames. Obviously, if you switch graphics to the maximum setting, you should expect quite a bit of lag. The phone ships with a pretty much stock looking Android 7.0 out of the box. There aren't many features to talk about and honestly, I like when companies stick to the stock Android on these cheap phones. That's why you should expect a snappy day-to-day -day performance of the phone most of the time. The camera is the weakest point of this device. It's possible to capture an ok looking image in good lighting but nothing more. More often than not, you will get a bad looking photo with both main and front firing camera. Currently I'm shooting a video with a Hefri UMAX. This is a budget phone and today is a sunny day. This is handle footage, it's a windy day so the sound recording quality may not be the best. So anyway. Same can be said about the video quality, just like on any other super cheap phone. When it comes to connectivity, call quality and signal reception are pretty good, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth work fine and even the GPS is quite accurate for a cheap phone. The 4500mAh battery performs very well. I was able to get almost 7 hours of screen on time which is a good result considering the fact that the phone has a huge 6 inch display. The Hefri UMAX is one of those cheap Chinese phones that aims to deliver a lot of value for the price and it certainly succeeds in a lot of ways. For less than $90 US, you get a huge phone with a decent 6 inch display, pretty good overall performance, stock Android 7 out of the box and a pretty good battery life. The camera remains the main shortcoming of this device but if you don't take a lot of pictures with your phone, the Hefri UMAX is indeed a decent offering for such a low price. It was Linus, thanks for watching and as always guys if you have any questions please drop me a comment down below. Also if you're new to the channel please subscribe and yeah, see you in the next video soon.